Mike Bear, is that you? Not the Himalo 36, which managed to deliver performance at a reasonable value, even if through an unorthodox marketing and distribution model. Now, contrary to popular belief, Trail fairies don't actually exist. Sometimes it feels like there's no one out here police in the streets. Now it's nearing springtime up here in the Northern Hemisphere and a lot of us are chomping at the bit to get back on the trails after a long winter. They're always long. But before we go smashing into soft single track and freshly tuned berms, maybe let's just consider what trail builders would love from us instead of giving them more ammo to despise us mere mortals. Now I realize not everyone has the time, energy, or resources available to physically give back to your trails, whether that be a volunteer trail day or maybe pioneering one of your own. But on the flip side, maybe you don't have the spare cash laying around to buy a trail use pass each season or afford entry fees to races and events. I wanna share a variety of ways in which you and I can be contributing members in the biking community and make the trails better for everyone from super simple to a little bit more in depth. First things first. Now hopefully you have a trail organization near where you live and then it's easy. You show up at Trail Dig Night and do your part to give back. If that's not an option, perhaps you can consider hosting one. Personally speaking, I love volunteering at the local events in my town because it's a great way to be part of the community and I get to see a ton of friends. It can be as easy as helping at registration or maybe course marshalling an event. If you don't have time, that's fair enough. Maybe consider using money to show support instead. That could be in the form of trail memberships like we use where I live, or perhaps your local bike shops taking donations. And there's also the Trail Forks Karma option. Trail Forks Karma is a great option when you don't wanna necessarily buy a full season pass, but you wanna give back to the trails. Perhaps you're on a road trip and just had the ride of your life and you wanna send a few bucks back to the local organization. This is a great way to do it. When you're donating to these organizations, the money's not going in anybody's pocket. It's already spent on resupplying tools that get broken in the forest, maybe gas to fill up those chainsaws, even nails for building bridges. All that stuff adds up. First of all, open Trail Forks on your phone or your computer. And then in the top left corner, discover your local trail network. Your GPS should tell you where we are or else you can search for it. Once you've found your region, you can scroll all the way to the bottom of that page and you can support this region. Five dollars, ten bucks, if you want to do something else. We're going to donate five bucks today via PayPal. Going beyond. Righto, we've made it out onto the trail. Now, one of the easiest ways to give back to your local trails at home is when you're out on a ride or a dog walk, just take some notes. Now, maybe you come across a downed tree or an issue out there on the trails that is a little above your pay grade, but somebody's gotta deal with it. Trail Forks is a great tool because it's used by builders and organizations around the world. They read the reports and then they send out where they need to send the troops and allocate their resources. Now, perhaps that's just a bit too much work for you, in which case, stop in at your local bike shop on your way home and report the issue so that you know your voice is being heard and the issue is being dealt with. Now, I'll show you now how quick and easy it is to do a Trail Forks report. It's not what I wanted. Trail Forks, okay, here we go. So first things first, we're gonna find our trail. Half Nelson, popular option. We can open that trail up. On the bottom of the screen, we've got reports. And as you can see here, good example of what we were talking about earlier. We've got a big tree down on the trail. That's already been cleared. But we're gonna add a new report. So top right plus sign. You got the trail name. You can pick your status. I'm gonna go for the baller option, obviously. Half Nelson is all clear. Condition is 
I would say it's ideal out there. You can give a quick description here if you found a tree on the lower third of the trail, or maybe there's a huge mud puddle right in the middle, something that you want people to know. Work report, you can add a picture of said issue if there is one. You can even save your current GPS location if you're on location where the incident was. Otherwise, if you're at home, you might want to not click that. And then once you're ready to go, submit. It is seriously just that simple. Now, considering there are unfortunately still places in the world that don't have trail organizations or alliances of sorts, there's probably still people out there building on the weekends, sacrificing their time and creating trails for others to enjoy. If that happens to be the case and you come across one of these trail fairies off in the forest, perhaps stop, give them a little chat, see if they need help or just some good old company. Time for the next level. Alrighty, so you've joined the local club, you've been making your reports on trail forks and you're ready to step it up in the big leagues and do your part out on the trails. Maybe consider investing in a really small toolkit like the one I've got here. This is a great small but mighty little maintenance kit that I have, fits into my bag, and it's good to have on you, especially right after winter. Maybe you're opening up trails for the first time, or maybe it's midsummer and you just had a huge windstorm come through. So I'll show you what I've got in my pack. First of all, we got some gloves. You know, if you need to grab a big tree, maybe move a big rock out there, it's nice to have some glove protection. After that, I've got this nice pair of snippers here. Pretty strong, good for cutting those alder bushes or the little snappy stuff that gets in your eyes. And last, I've got this nice folding saw. This one's actually quite large. You can get something much smaller, but strong, mighty. If you come across a tree that doesn't require a chainsaw to get through it, then why not just saw it, your handsaw here, and carry on. Another good piece for the toolkit, especially in springtime, is a good big pair of loppers. Now, I don't have them today because they didn't fit onto this toolkit, but if you're just out on a walk, they're easy enough to carry. Now, the topic and process of trail building, I could go on for days about that, but I'm not trying to open that whole can of worms right here, right now. When it comes to trail builders and the creators of the good times, it's best not to piss them off. Hopefully you're inspired to get a little dirty, give back, and not hold your trails back. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to the channel.